In today's video, I'm just going to speak about something that has been on my mind based on the content I've been putting out and some of the DMs I've been getting and some of the comments I've been seeing on my social media platforms. One of the things I've come to realize, there are so many people who have a problem with me changing and evolving. But yet again, there are so many people who are clapping for me, cheering for me, and they find encouragement. From my story of you know the perseverance and just this choosing to stand with christ regardless of what is happening in this world you need to understand that for you to grow for you to change you must get to a place where you're willing to stand alone you're willing to embark on a path that most of the people around you might not be willing to embark on and they might not even agree with so a lot of times you get stuck in who we are or who we have been because of the people who are around us. We're not willing to step out because we feel like we're going to miss out on something. Um, I, I saw one of my followers, they were asking me, do I feel like I lost something or I'm missing out? In all honesty, I don't think I'm missing out on anything. I did so many things in my early 20s. And um, looking back, I wish I knew what I knew right now. I would have made better decisions and I would have moved differently. But um, of course, the people are allowed to influence me, the people are allowed to speak into my spirit, to speak into my mind, and to have control of my mind are not the right people. So the only thing I knew was based on what I was consuming and whoever had my ear. Looking back, well, I'm grateful for it all because at the end of the day, I do what I do now passionately because I understand where it went wrong. And I hope that um, I'll be able to shed light in some areas, some things, and have these conversations that can help you to just maneuver and not to waste so much time, like the way I wasted time, you know, not to waste your time, not to waste your energy, not to sabotage yourself just because, you know, I believe when we have the right information, we are able to do things better and we're able to make even better decisions. So allow yourself to grow. Um, a lot of people will not like the idea that you're growing and I won't lie to you. The more you're growing, the more you evolve, the more you'll come to realize some people who are close to you, some people are around you, they'll start living one by one. Not all of them. Some of them will start leaving because not everyone has the capacity to accommodate the version of you that you're going to become. If you believe you have a call, you believe that God has called you to something, if you believe that God wants you, if you believe that there is more to you and to your life, you need to be willing to walk alone. You're going to lose out on friendships and in all honesty, there's nothing you lose because you're pursuing God that is ever a loss. It's actually a gain and a win for you. So just to encourage you, you should be ready for that. And you need to understand that the person you want to become, the place you're at right now, the people you're with right now, they might not have the same vision as you. Maybe some of them, they've just decided to settle and be complacent to, um, you know, to whatever it is that is happening in their life and they're good, they're okay with that. But for you, you feel like you want to do more. You feel like there's more to you and you feel like you're called to more. You must understand sometimes to get to the more, you must leave the now, the comfort zone, you must leave the familiar zone and it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, but then again, it's going to be worth it. So I don't feel like I'm missing out. I think it took a while for me to get to a place of learning to be alone, learning to stay in solitude and just self-introspect, learning to thrive in isolation. Meaning I'm not really like isolating myself, but I don't have to be everywhere because everyone is there. If it doesn't add to me or it doesn't, if, if I'm not getting anything really from it, I still hang out, I still step out here and there once in a while, but the priority in my life right now is to learn, is to gain wisdom. And um, if I feel like a space is going to be draining for me and I have to like just, um, it's called what, tolerate a lot of the things which are happening there, I'd rather not go, I'd rather stay away because I try to make sure I, I, I protect my energy, my space and my inner peace. And I also want you to understand that sometimes God will save you from things and just because he's delivered you out of there, to stay delivered, it's also a choice you have to make. Sometimes if you keep on going back to the places where the temptation was, you keep on going back to the place where the things which are happening that you're trying to get out of, they are still happening. You might get tempted to get back into that lifestyle. So sometimes having wisdom is knowing God took me out of that and for me to stay out of that, I will not play with that. So you don't play with fire and expect not to get burnt. So you learn how to have a boundary and um, to just be very um, alert when it comes to your atmosphere and your surrounding. To stay delivered is work. You just don't get delivered and then you're like, oh, capiche, it is done. You have to fill yourself with the word of God to replace the thoughts and um, the ideas which you had with the word of God. 
and you just find a way of making your mind grow in wisdom rather than stay where it is with what you know. So gaining knowledge is very important. So my word is this, do not be too attached to who you have been and uh, where you're coming from, but allow yourself to grow. Growth is hard and that's why you find a lot of people even at the top, they don't really have a lot of friends, you know. They might know a lot of people, but they don't really have a lot of friends. Not so many people are willing to do the work. Not so many people are willing to grow. Not so many people are willing to face their issues, face themselves, and to just face the truth. The truth is a hard pill to swallow, and the truth is hard to accept. So, do not be too attached to who you have been. Allow yourself room to grow, to evolve, and to become who God is calling you to be. You know, you have to be willing to die to your old self in order for you to embrace and to bath the person who God is calling you to be. Something must die for something else to live. Something must go to the grave for something to resurrect, I'm telling you. But um, growth is beautiful. It's a challenging journey. It's a hard road. Um, you know, you face a lot of hurdles here and there. Sometimes you feel like you want to go back. But then I believe getting to the other side of it, that's the most beautiful thing about the journey. You appreciate the process, you learn, and you just have a tough skin. So the more you press on, the more you become better at moving forward. But if you remain stuck for a long time, that can be detrimental to you. Allow your old self to die so that you can bath who God is calling you to be.